Howdy, folks. Time is precious and oh so fleeting. Yet we have so many interesting people to meet and remarkable things to see. Join me, won't you? For the ultimate Mike Polk Jr. show. It starts now. Well, there he is, folks. Moses Cleveland, Brigadier General, Lawyer, Surveyor, and the founder of our fair city. You guys will probably think this is silly, but sometimes when I'm feeling kind of low, I like to come down here and have a chat with the general. And sometimes I can almost hear him responding, like he's giving me sage wisdom through the ages. Right, general? Huh? Oh, for the love of muskets. You again? Why can't you leave me in peace? Apologies, general. But you know I only come here when I'm having a really rough time. Poppycock. You're here almost every day, whining about meaningless fiddle-faddle, disturbing my tranquility. I'm not sure that's a fair characterization. Oh no, so tell me, what sort of triviality troubles you today? Are you sad about the ineptitude of one of your local sporting teams? Did one of your favorite ale houses raise the price of their chicken's wings again? Oh, I only wish it were something so trivial. No sir, I'm afraid this is serious. You see, I just found out that they are shutting down the top thrill dragster at Cedar Point for good. I'm sorry, what? I know, I'm as shocked as you are. That ride's an institution. So the removal of a carnival attraction has rendered you melancholy. Look, I know it's not the end of the world or anything, but it's just always kind of a bummer to see the world that you knew change into something different right in front of your eyes, you know? I helped defeat the British in the Revolutionary War. Yeah, you get it. Change is tough. You know, come to think of it, a lot of the rides and attractions at Cedar Point that I loved when I was a kid are no longer there. And maybe if I were to reflect on some of my favorite defunct rides from the past, that would help me process this recent loss. That's great advice, thanks so much. Whatever, sure. As Northeast Ohioans, we have the good fortune to live very close to what is widely regarded as one of the best amusement parks in the world in Cedar Point. And of course, if you've lived here your whole life, you've got to witness the growth and change of the park over time. You've watched many new rides debut and others go by the wayside. In that spirit, here is my comprehensive list of the top five defunct Cedar Point rides that I miss the most, and five that frankly I don't miss very much at all. Don't miss Space Spiral. It was very tall, very slow, and very boring, like a rotating restaurant that didn't serve food. The cruelest part was that it offered kids a breathtaking bird's eye view of all of the exciting rides that they would much rather be on. Do miss Whitewater Landing, a truly classic log ride that got grosser and smelled worse as the mid-July day heated up. You never truly felt securely restrained as you careened down that hill for the big splash at the bottom, and that of course was most of the fun. Don't miss the Mean Streak. I know it had its fans, but for those of us over six feet tall, the Mean Streak was not a gentle lover. It was like paying money and then waiting in line to get thrown down 20 flights of stairs at 65 miles per hour. What fun. Do miss the Pirate Ride. I have very fond memories of this pirate-themed dark ride. It was like Cedar Point said, okay, we want to make our version of Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean ride, but let's try to keep the budget at about $600. But it worked for me. Don't miss Sky Slide. If I'm at Cedar Point with access to some of the best rides in the world, why do I want to trudge up a hill carrying a burlap sack, only to inevitably get stuck at some point on the way down and have to scoop myself down the scalding hot surface to complete this glorified playground attraction? Pass. Do miss Wildcat. This roller coaster was a hoot because it looked and behaved like one of those portable rides that was constructed in a hurry for a county fair or a carnival in a Big Lots parking lot. It was herky and jerky, and it never truly felt safe. That's the kind of vibe 12-year-old me was into. Don't miss Berenstain Bears. Okay, not technically a ride, and I know I wasn't the demo, but of all the thousands of fun characters to license, why the Berenstain Bears? Nothing against them, lovely bear family, great values, but not exactly a laugh a minute. I mean, what child would want a picture with Spider-Man or R2-D2 when you can get one with the mother from the Berenstain Bear family who taught you the importance of sharing? Do miss Disaster Transport. If you can say nothing else about this indoor bobsled coaster, you can say that it was ambitious and air-conditioned. Was it a low-rent Space Mountain ripoff? Absolutely. But there was something charming about the immediately dated and usually malfunctioning sci-fi motif. And it did get you out of the heat for a while. Don't miss Chaos. I'm just trying to do too much. Look at it. It's like endurance space training at NASA. Who enjoyed that? And do miss Demon Drop. It's not a day that goes by that I don't think about you, girl. You're like an ex who moved to another state, but we're still on speaking terms. And I just love knowing that you're still out there in Dorney Park, Pennsylvania, violently dropping thousands of yinzers to the ground every summer so that they don't feel quite right for the next several days. 
Change was inevitable at the Amazement Park. It comes with time and success. So happy trails to the Top Thrill Dragster and Cedar Point. If you're watching, please bring back this ride you had in 1904 called the Sea Swing, because I would be all over that thing. Well, I hope that was nice for you, talking about all of those old amusement park diversions. You know, it really was, General. Thank you for listening. So, I suppose you'll be on your way now. You know, I would, sir, but reflecting back on all of those cool rides from my youth made me think about a very special journey I took this past summer. And I assume you now plan to flash back to that rather than leaving me alone. That is a great idea, sir. Thank you for listening. I literally can't move. Yeah, but still. In the mid-1980s, one particular Cedar Point thrill ride openly dared Northeast Ohio children to rush to the amazement park and experience sheer terror firsthand, should we be so brave. A paralyzing plummet to earth demon, demon at Cedar Point. Debuting in 1983, the Demon Drop was a 10-story, free-fall drop tower ride that stood sentry right at the front of the park, welcoming visitors and quickly establishing itself as one of the park's signature rides. I still remember the thrill of riding it for the first time as a kid, and the odd sense of loss I felt when I learned that it had been removed from the park, never to be seen again. But wait. It recently came to my attention that the Demon Drop, in fact, lives on. Where? Why, at Dorney Park in Wildwater Kingdom in Allentown, Pennsylvania, of course. When I learned that I was only about six hours away from this important part of my childhood, I somehow managed to convince my bosses to let me spend an entire workday driving to Allentown, Pennsylvania, so that I could ride a theme park attraction that I enjoyed in my youth. And the next thing I knew, I was cruising through the lush, windy Pennsylvania mountains on my way to a date with destiny. Demonic destiny. Do you hear that? It's my childhood calling. Let's go ride the demon drop. Once inside the park, the game was afoot. Thank you so much for inviting us out. Absolutely. I mean, well, I guess you didn't invite us out. We invited ourselves and you agreed to have us. You sort of did. Why do people like myself, sickies like myself, like this ride so much, do you think? Well, I, I think it's nostalgia, right? It's something you rode when you were a kid in the 80s or the 90s, and so it's just bringing back memories. Do you have an appreciation for this coaster, even though you, you're a relatively young person? Meeting you has made me appreciate it more. That's what I like to hear. I don't <laughs> even care if you mean it. As fate would have it, I was not alone in my pilgrimage that day. I found another demon drop enthusiast. What's your name, sir? Stephen Strange. Stephen Strange, and you are in from where? Canton, Ohio. That's an awesome shirt, um, and I will talk about maybe making a deal for that in the parking lot after this. We'll talk. Don't <laughs> don't say, don't say anything until you heard my offer. Right. Why is the Demon Drop so important to you? Uh, the memories from the '80s, and that was the main thing. We always went to Cedar Point to ride, so I just wanted my kids to experience the same thing. To see it here again is very cool, very nostalgic, and it's making me anxious to get on this thing. Do you mind if we actually take this thing for a swing? No, man. Let's go. All right, let's, let's go. rock it. And then suddenly, there she was. There she is, the old girl, looking just like she did in 1983. Have an age today, sweetheart. You remember me? Huge fan, Demon Drop. Glad to see that we're still both kicking. Oh, I remember the smell, I remember this fear. The kids who just strapped me in were not alive yet when this machine was created. Comforting. Woo! Still not smooth. Here we go, everybody. She has an age today. Oh, the tire, that doesn't look like it should be a part of this. Woo! Oh my, a classic! It's always great reconnecting with an old friend. This is Mike Polk, partying like it's 1989 for Three News. Woo, boy, that really took me back. Did it make you feel as nostalgic as it made me feel? Yes, of course. How could I not be nostalgic for a theme park attraction that didn't exist until 200 years after I died? What a journey down memory lane. Yeah, you get it. Hey, I was just thinking, who do you think the most famous Cleveland celebrity of all time is? What? Well, we've had a lot of notable people from this area. Who do you think is the most famous Clevelander? Well, I founded the city, and my name is literally Cleveland, so... Yeah, it's a tough call. I couldn't make up my mind either. That's why I took to the streets to let the people decide. Are you ready to play? Name that Clevelander! I was really hoping I'd be joined in. Oh, he's all alone. <laughs> kind of left me all alone out there. Can you name a Cleveland celebrity just to get get warmed up? MGK. MGK, good, good. Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield, he counts. <laughs> all athletes, obviously. Any Cleveland celebrity? Somebody originally from here or currently here? 
<laughs> maybe even just maybe right in front of your eyes. Nope. Okay, yep. all right, let's start it up. <laughs> you get three correct, you do get a, not only our participation certificate, but also a sticker of approval. Let's get lucky. That is Miss Halle Berry. That's Halle Berry! Favorite Halle Berry movie? Say it at the same time. One, two, three. Catwoman, Cat obviously. <laughs> now who is this? Mm, that's a good question. I think your dads would know who he was. He's like a football player. No, I don't football. Back when your dads were happy? Bernie Kozar? No? Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm so sorry, Bird. <laughs> They're children. They don't know. Who's oh, that? No. Woof, woof, woof. I'm not. That's Pass. all right. He was a talk show host, probably about 10 to 12 years before you were born. It's Arsenio Hall! He's just the mayor, is all. You knew that the mayor was Arsenio Hall. At least you just didn't know his name, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your participation. Oh, everybody loves this guy. Say it all at the same time. <laughs> really? No. You guys don't know Alan Ruck? Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh. This is ridiculous, okay? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go with, I'll go. Here it is, who's that? Slider. Slider, right out of the gate, one for one. Probably our most famous actor that ever came from Cleveland. This one hurts, because you've seen him, and now you're gonna be possibly on local television not recognizing him. I have no him. idea who this mm. is. That's okay, that's Paul Newman. Who is this Cleveland celebrity? Tim, Tim Mesny. Oh! <laughs> it's not Tim Mesny. It is Tim oh, yeah. Mesny. Yeah. Misny, right? Tim Misny, there you go. <laughs> we are three for three on Tim Misny. Meanwhile, no one knows who Paul Newman is. That's, we're just gonna skip Harvey P. Carr. That's out the window. Goulardi, nope. This lady, anybody? Yeah, Catherine. You got it. It Ca starts with an H. Yes, you're he almost there. Hegel. Sounds like a laugh. Catherine. Ha. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it, Catherine Ha. It's on, and I think she would appreciate that. Give them each a certificate and a sticker of participation. Wow. Thank you so much. They did it. So what did you think, General? How did no one know Paul Newman? Yeah, that was disappointing. Cool Hand Luke? The Hustler? I know. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? The Sting? Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? Slapshot! All classics. He was a treasure. That's very disheartening. The Verdict? HUD? Somebody up there likes me? Yeah. Well, at least we can take comfort in knowing that there's one Clevelander who's so famous, so beloved, that we will never forget him. Well, thank you. I certainly take pride in having founded this majestic city. Yeah, wait, what? What? Well, see, I was I was talking about Bernie Kosar. Bernie Kosar? Yeah. The football thrower. Uh-huh. Right, I, you know, I knew that. I knew you were talking about Bernie Kosar, not me. This is really awkward. Yes, it is. You know, I actually met Bernie once. You don't say. Yeah, a couple times. Cool. Yeah, I actually recorded it. Do you maybe want to take a look back at it? Whatever gets us out of this moment. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here for this incredibly important project. I'm just gonna run through the bullet points with you very quickly so we know what we're doing here today. We're coachable, by the way. Oh, I think Bill Belichick would disagree. <laughs> oh, the first Belichick shot fired. Sick burn, burn. <laughs> what does it take to bring three local titans like Bernie Kozar, Jay Crawford, and Mike Polk Sr. together like this? It took a picture. This picture. This is the Mike Polk Sr., Mike Polk Jr., Bernie Kozar photo reenactment project. Based on this photo from, I believe, 1991. Dad, do you remember what this event was? One of Bernie's Tanglewood dinners after a football game. After every game, we'd have a, uh, an event out there and we'd do Q&A with our fans wow. and talk about what happened in the previous Sunday's game. The Polk family mm -hmm. was a mainstay. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you how this happened. I posted this. Jay texts me that we bring you in for one of these photo reenactments which are so popular right now. So you take any picture from the past and then you get the same folks back together and try to get them in as close proximity to the original photo as you can right. and then you frame them side by side. I've done them with my kids when they were six and eight and then when they were 16 and 18. So this was your idea and you offered to waste Bernie's time with this. <laughs> 
Once our mission had been established, the briefing shifted to logistics. Going to the picture itself, so what are our big concerns? First of all, obviously this Bernie shirt, okay? <laughs> From 1991, this sweater, a big problem because they don't make this Bugle Boy sweater anymore, it turns out. <laughs> I hit a couple different thrift stores and I did the best that I could. Fortunately, my dad let me know that he still has this tie. <laughs> That's the last time I wore a tie. Jay, this is your role. I appreciate the fact that you have agreed to play the role of the guy who's halfway into the shot. It's gonna be some of my best work ever. Just remember, there are no small parts, only small actors. So now we're just gonna get started. Let's do it. The moment was finally upon us. It was time to make our vision come to life. Okay, this way, a little more, a little more. Like moving a truck. How we do? All right, Bernie, you ready? Okay, so you're gonna be here next to this guy. Yeah. Perfect. Remember? You remember? Just like it was in 1991. Come into the come into the shot here. Everyone do their same kind of look that they were doing. Bernie, you're just kind of like checked out. Like, how much longer is this? Dad, you were legitimately happy to be there and probably had a six beer buzz. Okay, yeah. Three, two, one. I think we're nailing it. It was then, as we were wrapping a successful photo shoot. The tragedy struck. Could you add a little? Oh! Please tell me you got that. Time. I think that's a wrap. <laughs> they say you can't live in the past, and that's true. But that doesn't mean you can't celebrate it and commemorate it by making it a part of the present. This is Mike Polk hanging with the posse for three news. Wow, you really do know Bernie Kosar. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure I'd necessarily say that we're friends or anything. I don't know what he would say. I mean, really more friend of a friend, I guess, but pretty cool. Good guy. Salt of the earth. Well, that's great. Okay, well, now we've had a nice chat. You rode your demon ride. We met Bernie Kozar. I think we're good, right? Yeah, you know what? I should probably get going. General, thank you again for listening. Like I said, stuck here, made of granite, have no choice. And I will be sure to stop by the next time I have something on my mind. Say, have you ever considered talking to some of the other statues around town every now and again? Just to mix it up? I'm sure Jesse Owens or Bob Feller would love to chat. Or how about Commodore Perry over there, the hero of Lake Erie? I'm sure he'd love to hear about your problems. Don't try to pass the buck, Cleveland. Leave me out of this. Okay, well then how about Mayor Tom Johnson over there? Great mayor. Thank you, but I'd rather not. I'm just saying someone else should take a turn. What, are you guys busy? Oh, don't use that tone with me. It's not a matter of whether I'm busy or not. Okay, okay, I didn't mean this to turn into a big thing. Okay, well, I'm just gonna let you guys hash this out. Thanks again, General. Nothing clears my head like a nice visit downtown. Thanks for watching, folks. I was a neighbor here. I mean, sure, yes. I'm out of time. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. Maybe get a break when I was frozen in a stone gun around here. Like this is just an example. Well, I'm not going to be using it. 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 I'm not going to be using it.